This tutorial is just a quick introduction to time code, the way that we measure video time. Now time code is shown in each of the panels, often in a yellow text like this. You can see it up here in the program monitor and here in the timeline. And when we start playing, if I just push the spacebar to start playing, you'll see that time code starts to go through. And the way to read it is simply this, frames. These two here are the number of frames. Now I'm on a PAL system, so that's 25 frames per second. The first frame is frame zero, and it goes up to 24, and when it clicks over back to zero, zero, we've got one second. So if I was to read this at the moment, I'd say three seconds and 20 frames. So frames, zero to 24 for a PAL system, zero to 29 for an NTSC system, or 29.97 frames per second, or a 30 frames per second system and then it would click over to one second. So, frames, seconds, minutes, hours. But also, this particular box is a great way of navigating to a particular place. So if I click in this box and I want to go to 20 frames, at the moment I'm at three seconds and 20 frames, if I just type 20 and hit enter, my playhead is instantly locked to 20 frames. But say I wanted to get to 20 seconds instead. I click in the time code box, do 20 and then point, and then enter, and I'll go to 20 seconds. But say I want to go to one minute, go 1.0 point, point. So I want to go to one minute, zero seconds. I don't actually need to put the frames in here unless I want to specify them. Hit enter, I'm now precisely at one minute. But say I wanted to go to 1 minute, 5 seconds, and 20 frames. 1.05.20. So that's 1 minute, 5 seconds, and 20 frames. Hit enter, and you'll see that I'm at 1 minute, 5 seconds, and 20 frames. So time code is a way of jumping around your production to get to exactly where you need to get to. So at the moment, I could click into this dialog box here and do the similar thing. So I want to go to 2 minutes, 3 seconds and 20 frames, I can go to 2 minutes, 3 seconds, 20 frames, enter, and you can see that the playhead has jumped to precisely that point. So time code is a way of showing us where we are in time, because obviously video is progressing in time, we need to know where we are, it shows us the length of our production, it shows us where particular things are happening at particular times, but also it's a way of navigating by simply clicking in there and deciding where we want to be. Clearly, if I want to go to hours, I need to have footage that will take me up to hours. You can see here, if I just zoom in a bit, that my work area is going to go to a maximum of two minutes, eight seconds, and two frames. So I'm not gonna be able to go up to hours, but if you had hours in there, then it's similarly, you just need the extra point. So you do hours, point minutes, point seconds, point frames, and then you would navigate to precisely where you wanted to be.